when was the last time you had an infection? You probably didn't worry too much because you knew you could get some antibiotics. Unfortunately, the challenge we're now facing is that many of the antibiotics that we would all routinely hope to use are not working. And that's because the bacteria are becoming resistant to the antibiotics. Unless we act fast and we act together, we may well enter an era where we have no antibiotics or we have very few antibiotics, which will really limit our treatment choices for people who really need antibiotic treatments. In many ways, it would be like going back to the 1930s when many of the complex operations and many of the treatments we now have were not possible because we didn't have the antibiotics to use during those treatments and during these surgeries. Think, for instance, of some of the cancer treatments we now have. Many people who are having cancer treatment receive treatment which depresses or destroys their own immune systems. And these people really need antibiotics to help them survive through their cancer treatment. We also now worry about some of our complex surgeries, hip replacements, valve replacements, valve insertions, because for all of these complex surgeries, we do need antibiotics to either prevent infection or to treat some infections. This is one of the biggest threats that we're going to face, and we're going to face it on a very big scale unless we all act together and act very swiftly to face the challenge. But this isn't the way that it has to be. With three very simple steps, we can all become antibiotic guardians and preserve our antibiotics for use in future generations. Step one is don't demand antibiotics from your doctor. We've all been there, sitting in front of the GP, feeling miserable either ourselves or with a sick child and suffering from the symptoms of a cold, a sore throat, flu or another viral condition. And we all want an immediate cure from these conditions. Antibiotics don't provide an immediate cure from these conditions, in fact they don't work on them at all. They can actually make you feel worse and they can cause side effects themselves and lead to long term resistance problems in the future. So next time you feel unwell, take your doctor's advice about whether you need an antibiotic or not. Think about steps you can take to manage your own condition. Speak to your local pharmacist and see if they can give you something to help with the symptoms. Step two, take antibiotics as prescribed. If you are given antibiotics by your doctor, make sure you take them as directed. Make sure that you finish the complete course so that your infection clears up fully and you reduce the risk of needing future courses and developing resistance. Also, don't give antibiotics to anybody else and don't keep any that are left over for future use. Different infections will need different antibiotics and the chances are that another infection will need a different antibiotic from the one you've been prescribed. Step three, spread the word. Let your family and friends know about antibiotics and how they should use them properly. Send them the link to this video. Antibiotics are some of our most precious medicines and unless we, we use them properly, we are going to lose them for future generations. So please become an antibiotic guardian and help to preserve antibiotics for use in the future.